So if you want to take your college students and your leadership to the next level, this is the guy to do it. Please welcome right now, like you mean it, close it out heavy with Mr. David Shaw. I heard somebody screaming because they're from Buffalo back there. That's what I'm talking about. Is there any, has anybody been to Buffalo besides the people in the back? Yeah, that says a lot about Buffalo, right? <laughs> but hey, I'm David Shaw, and I help college students take their next steps in their college career and beyond. And if it's okay with you guys, I'm just gonna take it to the next level the next 10 minutes. I mean, whether it's eating a buffet at a Golden Corral, or taking you guys the next 10 minutes, I wanna empty the tank, and I wanna get at everything I got. So is that okay with you guys real quick? Yeah! All right, awesome. So, um, I need you to be fully with me the next 10 minutes, because I'm gonna, I'm just gonna blow your mind in terms of a lot of information, so if you've never gotten your ass kicked by talk, get ready. You're gonna be leaving your limping and bruised. Okay, so first thing I wanna talk about is destiny. Because sometimes we can hear a word like destiny or purpose and not know what it is. Or sometimes we have an idea, but we're not 100% sure. Or sometimes it changes from semester to semester. Everyone ever feel like that before? You're like, or sometimes we can even feel, hear the word destiny and feel shame because we're like, everyone knows about me. Or you feel like everyone knows it, but not, I'm not sure what mine is. And that's, and that's totally fine, right? So, but your destiny, Right on the screen here, it isn't found in one big divine moment or one opportunity, if you will, but in a thousand little moments or opportunities in trusting God. It's not a destination, it's a way of life. So repeat that. Destiny is not a destination, it's a way of life. It's not much trying to find tomorrow, it's about walking in freedom here today, seizing those little moments, those little opportunities, those next steps every single day. Those opportunities can be small. Sometimes we think destiny, and it's one giant big step. But I found out from doing this and teaching leadership for five years in Buffalo, New York, that it's not. It's every small step, every single day, and seizing those opportunities that bring you to greater freedom. So you say, okay, Dave, you take next steps, or help college students take next steps. What exactly is the next step? Here it is. A next step is when you make a decision to move forward with something that is gonna bring you into greater freedom and purpose, that engages your heart, and gives you energy. So that's the next step. So why do we take next steps? Two reasons. If you're taking notes, here we go. Two things real quick, all right? So we take next steps to bring ourselves into greater freedom. And what I mean by that is that, in fact, I, I, I'm more of a story person. You guys ever like talk to your friend or even your parents or been to a family thing and you're like, so Uncle Bob, how, how's it going? He's like, eh. you know, same shit every day. You hear that before? And you're like, you know, but I don't know about you, but you know, they might be successful in their job, their career, right? But they're like, eh, it's okay. Well, I don't know if that's really success. Is that really freedom, right? Sometimes you define freedom as money, success. In fact, I used to think freedom, I'll go over my story, but I used to think freedom meant I can do what I want, how often I want, as much as I want, with whoever I want. But I thought freedom is knowing who you are, what you're created to do, and what your purpose is, and then pursuing that relentlessly despite apathy, other people's you know, motivation towards you, it doesn't matter. You go after relentlessly. So we take next steps to bring ourselves to greater freedom, because here we go. Because if the moment we stop receding, the moment our life becomes stagnant, and as college students, we must be intentional with what we're doing. Otherwise, we just become unfocused. We don't care. We just take whatever life throws at us, which wasn't very much if you, if you know what I'm talking about here. So we have to take next steps to, to, to bring ourselves into greater freedom. And sometimes it's not so exciting in the moment, but it's worth it in the end. Number two, we take next steps so others can take theirs. Again, we can't give what we don't have. Some of you guys took a plan to get here. I know Ethica, you did, right? You guys took a plan to get here. So, you know, they always tell you, you know, even though we're on our phones, we're not paying attention, they tell you, hey, for an emergency, put that oxygen on yourself before you help others, right? Because you can't help others if you're not helping yourself. You can't help others grow if you're not growing. You can't give energy if you don't have energy. You can't help others empty the tank if your tank is empty. So sometimes we have to help ourselves and take our next steps so we can help other people and take that next steps. So if you want to be people about you know joining other events and doing those things, you got to do that stuff. If you want them to take next steps, you do. If you want them to be engaged in campus, you got to take it to another level. So we take next steps so others can take theirs. By the way, my next step, I'm taking it right now. My next step was coming here. I've been teaching Leaders We Can for five, to hundreds of college students for five years in Buffalo. And it was exciting. I taught them entrepreneurship, you know, how to run business, how to motivate other people, but most importantly, how to motivate themselves. Oh, there's the mic. <laughs> so, that, so my next step was coming here because I wanted to bring it in nationally. So to give you a little story um, about myself, I actually, when I, was when I was 22 years old, I owned a franchise for a multi-million dollar national marketing company. 
And then at 23 years old, I started making six figures. At 24 years old, I actually bought a house, uh, my first house, and I bought two cars. Vacation five, six times a year. Took my mother to Hawaii, my brother to South America, my sister to Europe, and life was good. But I wanted more. Don't we all? We want more. If we're going to live the same life every year in a row for the next eight years, called a life, that's not exactly exciting to me, at least, as in any ways. So my next step was coming here and bringing it to impacting more students. I'm not doing this because I need to. I'm doing it because I want to. This is my call. And this is my passion. I'm stepping out of my comfort zone to bring it to you guys. So my next step is, so it's okay with you guys. Can we just celebrate myself taking the next step for a quick moment here? Just coming here. Because I'm going to impact you. I love it. Can you tell? You don't need a coffee, I have your coffee, in case you guys are looking for some. So anyways, three tips for taking next steps. Number one, don't let other people's apathy stop you from doing what you've been called to do. How many times do students not pursue their passion because the apathy is of others, or what others think? How many times do students not join that sport or that sport program in intramurals because someone told them they're not good enough to, be, to go there? How many times do students not get engaged at that event, that thing on campus or that group or whatever they want to join because someone told them, no, that's dumb, you're too busy anyways, or the apathy of others? How many times do we do that? So get this, if you're listening, catch this. Don't take advice from apathetic people because you don't want to get to where they're going. You don't take advice from apathetic people because you want to get to where they're going. If I listened to other people's apathy, I wouldn't be here. So I told you the great stuff, right? Cool, yeah, Dave's successful, whatever. Cool story, bro. You know, but at 19 years old, I got kicked out of college at a .86 GPA. How you get that is beyond me. I have no idea. I actually get a certificate just for somehow managing that, right? And then I actually uh, got arrested five times before I was 20. In fact, last time I got arrested when I was 20 years old, I beat up some kid because I was an angry person. And uh, his uncle was a Supreme Court judge for 44 years, so I hit the wrong kid. And, uh, and I did six months of weekends where you literally je- drive yourself to jail on the weekends. And I'm like, crap, I caught myself in a hole. So I got it together. And, I, and I, you know what, though? If I would have listened to apathetic people around me, you can't teach leadership. Look at your past. Look what you've done. You can't do that. You can't join an office for a markup. You can't do that stuff. You're, look where you've been. Well, are you kidding me? You barely take care of yourself, or at least I could, right? But here's the thing. I am not my past. I am my present. I am my future. Because I know what I, God created me to do. I can move forward in authority and step into that and take my next step so I can help others take theirs. That's why I'm here. Number two. I'm not sure if I did that. Sweet. Passion. So passion, the, wording, the word passion is something worth suffering for. And I'm a Buffalo Bills fan, all right? And we suffered 19 years of no playoffs. And I watch them every, every game. I, I refuse to watch a game, okay? I'm refusing to not watch the game. I'm always watching, make, you know, it's not always exciting, but I'm passionate every year. This is our year. This is our year. The last time we made the playoffs, I was like eight years old, okay? But this is our year. But you know what? Sometimes college can feel that way. We're excited, we're passionate, we get knocked down. You know, midterms hit us, this life hits us. People, not necessarily hit us, because I hit them back. <laughs> so, but we're passionate, we know what we're doing. So the point is, when you have passion, you're excited, it gives you energy, because everyone in this room has gifts that only you can give. You have a divine uh, you know, opportunity that only you can bring in this world. So, so I have passion. Because without passion, you're gonna run out of energy, you're gonna run out of steam. And you wonder why 50% of college students don't graduate, because they run out of that. Because they forgot why they're here and what they're doing. Number three, what are you empowered to do here today? And a lot of times here, well, I'm just waiting for that moment. You know, you're just like, I'm just like, you're sitting under like a tree and you're ready for the apple to hit you in the head and go, oh, that's what I need to do. But you know what? If we wait for a perfect time, how, how, you know, everybody ever, you know, how often is there a perfect time? Never. Never, Never, right? So somebody's like, I'm just waiting for a sign. Here's your sign. (laughs) There you go. So there's your invitation card to take your next step. So what's your next step? If you actually look on your tables, you'll see there's a next step. There's only like four or five. So please pull it out really quick. And if you don't have one, no worries. Grab a piece of paper. And I just want to take a moment here to sit there and say, what is your next step? Your next step is like, you know, I'm going to wake up earlier in the morning. You know, I'm going to get rid of that apathetic friend. You know, I'm going to get engaged in that thing that my other friends said they were stupid. You know, I'm going to pursue that passion despite if it's not popular or it's not the right field to get into. I'm doing that because I'm going to use college as a, as a vehicle to pursue my passion. I don't care what other people say. It's my life. This is what I'm doing. So what I want you to do is write your next step. And I have a booth. I'm at booth 9. And I have this court board that says, I took my next step today. And I just want to celebrate 
your next step with you. High five, maybe better to see you again. Hey, I'm with you, but you know what? You have a next step. And when you bring that to my booth, you'll, I'll actually give you a bracelet that says, what's my next step? So when you go home back to school, when you go back to your everyday life, you can sit there and stare in your face, what's my next step? So you guys can take them, be reminded, because when you're not taking next steps, we grow stagnant. We, we go back into, then with that Uncle Bob or Aunt, you know, Negative Nancy, it's like, How, how's it going? Uh -huh. No, you know what? Like, you can be that person that says, well, you know what? I don't have everything figured out, but I don't have to. And there's freedom in saying that, but I'm pursuing this passion, this gift, this business, this role that I'm excited about. I don't know what the outcome is, but I'm going there. And I'm going to get there. So how can you use me? It's a great question. I've done freshman orientations in Buffalo. I've done a lot of mid-semester speaking. I've done, obviously, leadership conferences galore. I've done marketing, because I own an office for a marketing company for five years. I actually hired, actually, I interviewed well over 9,000 college students in five years. I've met a lot of college students. And a lot of times, you don't know what they're doing, but you know what? It's okay if you don't know what you're made to be right in this moment, but just take that next step that brings you to greater freedom. And this is what I want to teach my kids. Hey, you know what? It's not so happening what you're doing right now, but do the best in your moment. Take that next step that brings you to greater freedom, and the rest will just be viewed along this way. So I want to end this the same way I started it. I want to empty the tank. That's why I'm here. I'm not here to make more money. I honestly, I made enough of that. I'm here to empty the tank. So if you can help me take my next step, so I can help your college students take theirs. Thank you. One more time for David Shaw.